Thanks. Roswell Flight Test Crew, back here at AUVSI Exponential 2016 in New Orleans. And I'm sitting here with Chad Boudreau, who's the Government Relations Director for the AMA. How are you doing today, Chad? Doing well. Thanks for having me over. Oh, absolutely. Glad to have you here. Now, Chad is taking over from Rich Hansen, who still remains with the yeah. AMA as an outside consultant, but Chad is now the man. And Chad, I just wanted to congratulate you on choosing a really terrific moment to get involved in government relations. I mean, right. it's, it's quiet, not much is happening, good time to sort of gently get your toes in, right? Definitely baptism by fire. It's exciting to be on the front of this uh, this issue. And, and of course, we still have Rich Hansen's great experience and, and the team and the board still very much involved. Well, I understand that uh, Administrator Huerta of the FAA made an announcement this morning. What was that all about? Yes, and, and we were fortunate to get a little bit of a heads up on that. The idea is that the FAA has relied on committees and task force to create some of these regulatory and guidance issues, and uh, they want to make that a more permanent part of the FAA culture, where they will look on this more permanent committee to help draft legislation or help figure out safety in the airspace. So they haven't announced anyone on that panel. I think they're still a few weeks away from making that announcement and, and possibly this summer before they have the first meeting. Uh, but we're hoping we can be a part of that process. The FAA is loosening up a little bit on if people want to use drones in education. That's a huge victory that the FAA is now allowing education to be protected under the special rule for model aircraft or allow educators to use modeling in the classroom. So that's definitely an exciting bit of news for us. Now that is really huge because this means schools and indeed individual students don't need a 333 exemption anymore. Is that's that right? Exactly right. That's exactly right. And we've been advocating for that for quite a while. So that, that's definitely a great victory to hear. The head of the FA officially declare, yes, continue on with your academic curriculum. Now, of course, in addition to what's happening with the FAA, there's a lot of action in Congress going on right now with a House bill and a Senate right. bill. Why don't you give us an update on that? So the Senate bill just passed. We were able to chip away a lot of the concerning language even before it left the committee. Once it left the committee, we added a couple of amendments through a manager's amendment, but there's still three or four hot issues that we're concerned about. And members can read about that on our website. What's required if you want a scratch build? Any hobbyist may have to take an aeronautical test. If you are have a flying field that's within five miles of an airport, right now you have to notify the airport. They're changing that to require airport or flying fields that request permission mm. to fly, which could be problematic. Uh, so we're going to continue to chip away at that. And we have a house version that's very favorable. It protects the special rule, it, it enhances the special rule, it even adds more protections. So we have the Senate version, we have the House version. The House version will hopefully go to a vote this year. Once it does, the two bills go to a conference committee and it goes through a whole new round of amendments and revisions and voting. We're probably about 30 some percent away along the path of this becoming law, so there's still a lot of opportunities to shape this legislation. All right, well anything that us AMA members out in the world can do to help? Stay tuned. Check modelaircraft.org. Modelaircraft dot org slash gov. We try to keep things updated there. Our blogs, check your emails. If you're a member, make sure we have your correct email address. We may go to you again and say, write Congress. We need your voice. Our members' voices are very powerful. We are here at Exponential, the big iron right. show of drones. And we've got Lockheed Martin, we've got Northrop Grumman, and we've got the AMA. I sort of feel like one of that old Sesame Street. Which one of these three doesn't belong? What are you guys doing here? Well, we do find a lot of our members are getting into that commercial world and maybe very light commercial work. Maybe they want to take photos for a real estate agent or maybe we have a member who wants to do a startup. So the commercial world is really helping drive the SUAS culture and environment. It's always good to hear what's going on in the commercial world. It's always good to hear what's going on with the FAA when they make major announcements like they did this morning and other industry leaders. Well. A great reason for you guys to be here. Well, Chad, thank you so much for taking the time. Hey, glad to be here. Thanks again, Patrick. All right, and from uh, AUVSI Exponential 2016 in New Orleans, this is the Roswell Flight Test Crew signing off.